In the last lecture, we learned about can activate route card and what is its use. Now, in this lecture, you are going to learn about can activate child route card, what is its use and how to implement it. This can activate child route card is very similar to can activate route card. Let's understand this can activate child route card with an example. So, in the last lecture, on this course's route, we added this can activate route card. So, if the user is not logged in, in that case, this courses page will not be visible to that user. So, for example, if I click on this courses link, it will not display me the view of the courses page and it will also redirect me to the home page. So, let me go to about page and let me click on this courses link. So, you will notice that instead of displaying the view of the courses page, it has redirected me to the home page. Now, if I log in by clicking on this login link, and then if I click on this courses link, now you can see that it is displaying me the view of the courses page. Okay, so the can activate route card is protecting this route, this localhost 4200 slash courses route from unauthorized access. Now, let's say the requirement has changed and now what we want is this home page, about page, contact page and courses page should be visible to all the users. But the course detail page should only be visible to the authorized user. Okay, so when I click on the show details button, it is displaying us the detail of that course. Now, this course detail should only be visible to the authorized users. It should not be visible to the users who is not logged in. So for that, the first thing which I am going to do is, I am going to remove this can activate route card from this courses route. Because now, we want this courses route to be accessible for all the users. So now you can see uh, I can access this home page, this about page, this contact page and this courses page even if I am not logged in. So just to prove that let me click on this logout link. So now this logout method would, would have been called and it has set the logged in property to false. And since I have logged out, I am not logged in still I am able to access this courses page as you can see. Now what is our requirement? Our requirement is that the course detail page should only be accessible to the authorized users. And if you notice this is the route for this course detail page. It is root url slash courses slash course slash the id of that course. And we are defining this route here. Okay, so here we have a parent route and for that parent route, we are specifying this child route. Okay, and currently for this parent route, we have only one child route. Now, in order to achieve this functionality where this course detail should only be visible to the authorized users, what we can do is we can use this can activate property on this child route and to this we can assign the service which is implementing this can activate interface in this case this course card service okay now if i save the changes if i go to the web page and if i try to access this the details of any of any one of these courses so let's say i click on the show detail button it has redirected me to the home page okay so, the functionality is working as expected. When I click on this show details button, it has again redirected me to the home page. So, the functionality is working as expected. But here, we have only one child route. So, this approach is fine. But let's say if we have multiple child routes inside this route, inside this parent route, and we want the same functionality for all the child routes, in that case, we will have to specify this can activate route card on each of those child routes. Okay. But what we can also do is instead of using this can activate route card, we can use can activate child route card on the parent route and that will be applied to all the child routes. Let's see how to do that. So again, let's go to Coast Guard service. And let's make this service also implement can activate child interface. 
okay and in order to use this interface we also need to import it from angular slash router let me move this in a separate line okay so here we can we are importing this can activate child from this angular slash router now since we are implementing this interface this interface is defining a can activate child method which needs to be implemented inside this service class because this service class is implementing this interface okay so let's go ahead and let's implement that method and the method name is can activate child and if you notice the signature of this method is same as the signature of can activate method it is also taking two parameters the first parameter is of type activated route snapshot and the second parameter is of type router state snapshot and it is also going to return either a boolean value or an observable which is going to emit a boolean value or a promise which will result to a boolean value okay so let me remove these from here from this method we simply want to return a boolean value and inside this method we want to write the same logic which we have written inside this can activate method so if the user is authenticated then we want to navigate the user to the route otherwise we want to navigate the user to the home page okay so instead of copying this logic and pasting it here what i'm going to do is from within this can activate child method i'm going to call this can activate method so here let's say this dot can activate now to this can activate method we need to pass a value for this route parameter and the state parameter so for the route parameter let's pass this child route and for the state parameter let's pass this state parameter of can activate child method okay and this method this can activate method is also going to return a boolean value and we want to return that same boolean value from this can activate child method so here let's simply use this return keyword okay now all we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to add this can activate child route guard on the parent route so here the parent route is this route so on this route let's use can activate child route card and to this we can assign an array and to this array we can specify the service which is implementing the can activate child interface so in our example it is this coast guard service let's pass it here with this this route card will be applied to all the child routes of this route okay currently we have only one child route so this route card will be applied on that child route but in future if we add more child routes then on those child routes also this route card will be added okay and we are already registering this course guard service in the app modules inside this provider array as you, as you can see here so with these changes let's go to the web page let's go to the courses page so this courses should be accessible to all the users but let's click on this show details now so when i click on this show details it has redirected us to the home page that's because currently i am not logged in now let's go to this courses page again let me click on this login link and now let's click on the show details so now it has taken me to the details of that course okay so the difference between can activate route card and can activate child route card is that when we use can activate route card on a router that route card is only applied to that router it is not applied to its child routes but when we use can activate child route card on a route in that case that route card will be applied to all the child routes it will not get applied to the parent route remember that so here we are using this can activate child route card on this route on this parent route so it will not get applied on the parent route it will only get applied to the child routes this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day